So you've invested in your sensuality and got yourself a jade egg. Well done. Now in this video, I wanna show you how to get your egg ready for your initial use, a few basic exercises to get you practicing with the jade egg, as well as a few of the concerns that you may have before initial use. So before you use your egg for the very first time, it's really important that you give it a good and thorough clean. I recommend you do this by boiling it. So you just grab a pot, fill it halfway with water. When the bubbles start to form, just simply drop your egg into the water for about eight minutes and then remove the egg with a teaspoon or a tablespoon and gently let it cool on the bench. Please make sure you let the egg cool completely before you use it. If you purchased your egg from me, which you should have, then you'll notice that it came with a white string attached to your egg. This is dental floss and is used to help for easy removal. If you didn't purchase it from me and it didn't come with a string, then go out to your chemist and buy some non-wax dental floss. Then just take a length to the size of about half your arm, thread it through your egg and tie off in a secure knot. Now you're ready to begin using your egg. I really recommend before every single use that you really create a solid and positive relationship with your egg, charging it with lots of loving and positive intentions. It's really important that you approach your jade egg practice calmly and without any fears or tensions in your body. And to do this, it's super simple. Just take a few moments to gently relax and to release yourself of any tension. Gently calm yourself with three big deep breaths right into your belly. Then, holding your egg in your hand, gently close your eyes and imagine your egg turning into a golden glow of light while you channel your own thoughts and your intentions of love into your egg. Continue doing that for several breaths, just charging your egg with lots of love and positive intentions. And when you feel calm and ready, it's time to begin. So you've cleaned your egg, you've connected to it, and now it's time to actually use it. I recommend just getting in some nice comfy clothes, nothing too restricting, or if you feel comfortable practicing with the jade egg naked. Then lie back. I should mention that not all the exercises that you can do with the jade egg are actually lying down. You can practice with your jade egg perfectly fine standing up. In fact, inserting your jade egg and going about your normal activities is perfectly fine. Your pelvic floor muscles will work out and do it all for you. But it's really nice to use all the essential energy and the connecting and everything else with you when you're using the jade egg. So firstly, lie down, take your jade egg and put a tiny little bit of lubricant just on the large part of the egg, the part without the string. I recommend coconut oil. It's really delicious and super slippery. So then you want to press the, the large part of the jade egg to your vagina opening, just really gently allowing your body to relax and take a few deep breaths, just getting comfortable with the jade egg at the opening of your vagina. Then with a little bit of pressure, just gently slip the egg inside, much like you would a tampon. Then lie back and just with one hand on your heart and one on over your groin area, just see if you can send down lots of loving energy from your heart down to your central organs. So after you have gotten comfortable with your egg inside of you and you've sent your egg lots of loving intentions, you can begin with one of the first exercises, which I'll show you now. So lying back with a flat back, I'm only sitting up so I can show you, you want to plant your feet firmly on the ground and just gently squeeze and contract your PC muscles. Like you're trying to hold in a wee or you're trying to feel your egg with the muscles inside of you. Then after about seven pulses, squeeze, one, two, three, release squeeze one two three release then we're going to start to raise our hips so lying back like this you want to raise your hips up as high as that you can go and gently release so you want to inhale on the way up and exhale on the way down now when you inhale on the way up, when you reach the top as high as you can go, gently squeeze your vaginal muscles around your egg and count to about three once again. Then on the exhale, do a full release and a full exhalation with an R sound. So you breathe in, this, clench, one, two, three, 
Make sure that your release is a full relaxation and it's like a, your yawning opening, yawning while, with your vagina. Then you can do that seven times. Up, clench, down, release. Up, clench for three, down, release. Then we're going to move on to our second exercise. So lying back, you want to extend your legs fully and flat on the ground. And then you want to point your left foot while you flex your right foot. And then changing over, pointing your right foot and flexing your left foot. Keeping your knees straight. And now with the flex of the foot and that side squeeze, so if you flex your left foot, squeeze the left side of your vagina. Then when you point the left side and you flex the right side, squeeze the right side of your vagina. So right foot up, flex, squeeze only the right side. Now it can take a little while to get used to and it can probably feel a little bit strange, but just stay with it for a little while. So flex and clench just that side, gently. And then release and do the left side. Flex and clench, flex and clench and this just really activates those great side muscles of the vagina and you'll feel the energy start to move and the warming sensations start to rise so just do this for about seven times so those are just two really simple and easy exercises to get you used to your jade egg if you still have any fears or reservations just simply sit with your egg inside of you and just breathe into it and bring a lot of an awareness around your sexual organs. Don't rush into anything that you don't feel comfortable with. Really go at your own pace. Now, a few of you have asked me a few queries and concerns that they've had before using their egg, such as what if my egg gets lost? Now, you have no need to worry. Your egg certainly will not get lost inside of you. That's why we have the string for easy removal. But say accidentally the string broke somehow. Don't worry, the first thing to do is relax. The egg can't go anywhere further than your cervix, so it will definitely stay in a region that will be easy to release. Number one, stay relaxed, breathe, and have a little bit of a laugh. These kind of things happen all the time, so you don't need to get anxious or panicky over it. The second thing is to bring yourself into a squatting position, like you were kind of like a sumo wrestler before he's about to go for a match, you know, like really squatting down. Bear down your, your organs like you're about to do a bowel movement and give yourself a nice big cough or a laugh. That'll gently pull the egg down. After a while of breathing and just coughing, your egg should just simply drop out. Make sure you have something soft underneath your surface just to catch it. Now, the second question is a lot of women are concerned that they can't feel their egg straight away and that is completely normal. In fact, I would be a little bit surprised if you could feel all the sensations with your egg inside of you straight away. It's like going to the gym, right? You don't go to the gym and think that you can pick up weights just like everybody else. It takes time and practice and that's why it's called a chain egg practice. So go slowly and be really confident that your body's sending you the signals that it needs to at the exactly the right time. So I recommend starting with maybe three or four days of jade egg practice, building up with the gentle exercises that I suggest here and on my blog, and then building up to maybe five days a week. And then after you feel like you have got a really good strength and a great routine, you can drop those exercises down to once or twice a week, or simply just putting your egg inside of you when you feel like you need to recharge your feminine organs or generate some really juicy sexual energy. So for lots more helpful tips and techniques and info videos on your Jade Egg, make sure you jump over to my website and subscribe to my newsletter. That way you'll keep up to date with any new videos that I release. Also, if you have any questions or queries or unusual concerns, shoot me an email. I promise I won't mind and I'll respond to each and every one of you. So enjoy your Jade Egg practice, ladies, and stay with me for lots more juicy practices to come. Bye, everyone.